Alright, why don't we find out if Dad actually survived Namek and the other things that I think he died from. We. Do 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 Come on guys, don't be so slow. Speed up. Speed up. Speed up. Yeah. I'm cheating. There we go. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Excuse me, mister. But how do you know my dad? <laughs> Actually, I haven't met your dad before. I just heard about him. Then how'd you know that he was going to arrive at this spot? Well, that's, uh... Sorry, I can't say. Why not? I'll tell you. Because you're up to something. Tell us now, tough guy. Who are you? I wish I could say, uh... Sorry. <laughs> sorry. When you defeated Frieza and that other guy, you were a super saiyan, weren't you? Yes, it was. Uh, that's a lie! Kakarot, the one you call Goku, and myself are the only Saiyans left. Kakarot's kid there is a half Saiyan. So if you count him, that makes three of us. There's no way you could be of Saiyan blood. Uh, no answer? Figures. Goku should be arriving any second now, because I'm psychic. Why don't we move, Gohan? Because the world is shaking. It's a good idea if we move. Here we go. Let's go meet Goku for the first and last time ever. Last time? Last time. Oh, my head hurts. I think I landed the wrong way. Wee. Hey, Dad. You're actually alive, and what the hell are you wearing? Welcome back to Earth, Goku. Hey, guys. How'd you know I was gonna be here? Thought be. I thought I'd surprise you out of nowhere, but mm. this guy told us I think he might be a fan of yours. He's a mystery man. He knows all about you, Daddy. Huh? But how? He knew the exact time and place of your arrival. Creepy. That's impossible. We've never met. He must have been tracking your ship. <laughs> Reading. Your ship from outer space or something. Really? Hey, where's Frieza anyway? I sensed he was on his way here, and I tried to get as fast as I could, but, uh... This guy defeated him. He turned to a Super Saiyan and picked him apart. Goku, can I have a word with you? <clears throat> yeah, can I do that? Sorry, I was talking in the wrong place. Whee! This isn't that far away, Trunks. I didn't even say my name yet. <laughs> Sorry about the secrecy, but I really need your word that you won't tell anyone else what I'm about to say. But they're gonna hear it anyway, because they're like five feet away. Well, I've never heard, had a problem keeping secrets. But sure, you have my word. My name is Trumps, even though you said my name for some reason, which kind of freaks me out. <sighs> this is gonna sound really strange, but I'm not from this time. I traveled here in, in a time machine from 20 years in the future. So I'm scary that way. Really? From the future? That's incredible! Yes, Vegeta was right. Only he, yourself, Gohan. You all see him in blood. I got mine from him. He's my father. What? He didn't hear me just now, did he? What? <laughs> what? You're kidding! I'll be born two years from now. Haha, <laughs> 
No kidding, Vegeta's gonna be a daddy. I didn't come here to tell you that. I have to talk about something more disturbing. In three years, on the morning of May 12th at 10 a.m., two powerful entities will show up on Amenbo Island. They have dreadful power. Even by our standards, they're monsters, Goku. Once they show up, the Earth and everything you know will be gone for good. What's the deal? Are they aliens? No, they're both androids created by... <clears throat> created on Earth. The creator is Dr. Shiro, the mastermind behind the Red Ribbon Army. Do you remember? Or do we have to go through something called a timeline? And I don't want to do that. Yeah, I defeated him, I think. I don't remember, because we didn't really go through Legacy of Goku 1. I, I you skipped it. <laughs> Are you saying he lived? Thanks to you. Look, I'm sorry to say that, Goku. I know you're a good person. But letting Dr. Jiro escape was the biggest mistake of your life. And it's coming back to haunt you. He's probably working on those androids as we speak. I'm still not sure where his lab is. If I knew, I'd pay him a visit instead of you. You defeated Frieza in a flash, though. And yet, from what you're saying, these androids are even stronger than you? They are. Hunting me down is one of their favorite hobbies. But it's two against one, so there isn't much I can do besides run. What? What about the others? Aren't they helping you out? Three years from now, the Earth's special forces will be wiped out. I'm all that's left. Piccolo is gone, and without him, the Dragon Balls are gone. There's no chance of reviving him. Anyone using a wish from the Dragon Balls it won't work. Wait a second, Trunks. What happened to me? Did they defeat me as well? No! Not long from now, you are gonna catch a new virus. That attacks the heart. You won't survive it. What?! What a bummer! Being killed by a stupid virus! I wanna fight those androids! I don't even get a chance to take a crack at them. <laughs> that makes me upset. You're a courageous man, Goku. I'm glad I came here. Here you go. Take this. It's for your health. There's no cure for a virus now, but in my time there is. Take this when you get sick, and you'll be fine. You're kidding me. Wow, awesome. It's purple, too. I bet it's grape-flavored. You shouldn't... I shouldn't be doing this. Because it changes history, but some history should be changed. And I'm glad, because my mother told me I could trust you. Your mother knows me? Who is she? Bulma. What? Bulma's your mother- What? <laughs> Quiet down or I'll hear you. Oh, sorry. Vegeta and Bulma are your parents? <laughs> That's insane. I don't remember my dad, so it's really great to meet him. He's a cranky guy, but he's impressive. Whatever you do, don't mention this to them. Otherwise, I may never be born because, well, who wants a son that looks like me? We, we. Goku tells his friends with a warning from the future. And so we have three years of train. Whoa, dude. That's hard to wrap your mind around. Say, Kakarot, why don't you explain how you escaped from Navik? Oh, where you got a ridiculous outfit for? That matter. It's... It's disgusting me out. I want to blast it. I'll have to save that story for another day. I bet Chi Chi has been frantic waiting for me. No, not really, Dad. What? Even... Your side of the bed's gone. I, I think it's over. What? <laughs> yeah, let's go home and scare Mom. Let's do that. The end. That was a lot of dialogue, guys. 
I'm free! Now let's talk to Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey, go on. You can train in the woods south of here if you want. I can train. Or go inside the house and scare the frick out of Chi Chi. Mmm, decisions, decisions. Why don't we vote? In the comments below, the more people who say I should go down and fight, I'll go fight. And the opposite's the opposite, okay? Till next time!